Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome. Okay, so we're going to dive in to see what's going on with you. Past, present, and future. And this is a timeless reading, so whenever you come across it, that's when you're meant to see it. And I want to introduce you to here, I got the Dark Mansion um, Tarot. Um, I've been wanting this for a long time, and with your donations through PayPal, I decided to invest in the channel um, card stock here and get um, this deck. And it's also a birthday present to the channel because I have the Sunday, the 18th, was four years that I had my channel going. So it's a birthday present to the channel and to all of us. So thank you for your donations that made it possible. Thank you very much. Okay, now we're going to go into the past energy first. Let's look into the past. Hmm. Okay. These are stuck together, so I'm going to take them. They feel very determined, but stuck. They want to stay together, which is interesting. The energy I'm getting is they want to stay together. Like, they want to stay together. <laughs> okay, I don't know. We have the two of wands. Hmm. To make a choice, a decision here. And we have, whoops. No, that was a little tricky. We have the knight of cups. And we have justice. Ooh. Okay, so it was important to make a decision here in the past about maybe going towards something that someone wanted. But this had to be done right. There had to be justice. Or maybe someone wanted to go towards someone in the past to bring in justice. Now, I was doing planning on three cards. But when I did the first reading, it came out of a fourth card. And then I was just going to go with the three, but I... I just automatically did four, so I just moved this on to four cards. Then. An extra roll here. Okay, <clears throat> I'll show you why it's, it feels like extra roll in a minute here. So we have here judgment. Ooh. So there's something done in the past. Mm, interesting. That someone had to make a choice in the past. They're at a crossroads decision with the two. Two's are always decisions. And then we have the Knight of Cups. Like Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It could be anyone. Justice is Libra energy. Okay, let me get a charm first on this Knight of Cups. Ooh, we have a spade. So someone was trying to dig for something, plant something. I don't, know, I don't think, remember. Did I ever get the spade before? I mean, it looks like a... Or, or is it a shovel? I don't know. It looks more like a spade spade to me could be a shovel Di well let's just say digging for something anyway someone's digging for something maybe want to plant something hmm interesting okay <clears throat> i'm gonna do the words right away a new start committed to the past okay so in the past, someone wanted a new start, but they were committed to something to do with the past. Some kind of justice, some kind of contract or something. And there might have been something about ma someone making a judgment here. Okay. Let's go on to the next room. Present energy. We'll, we'll go back to that. So let's see. The Eight of Pentacles. Something to do with work. Or working on something, working together, collaborating maybe on something too. And we have the Nine of Wands. But someone might be very protected over something. Standing guard, protecting something, do not pass. Hmm. And we have the chariot. So far, the chariot has shown up in every reading. Fast movement. Things might be starting to take off now. We might be um, removing ourselves from that slow, stagnant energy, maybe. And we have the six. Oh, you're definitely moving something here. We have the chariot plus the six of swords. Present energy. Something to do with work. Maybe standing guard about something. Fighting for something. Been through a lot with the nine of wands and the present energy. Saying, I am ready to move now. I'm ready to make something happen. Okay. Let's look at the future then. Let's 
So we have the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hmm. Do you know an earth sign? I think this I actually might be your energy here. I'm focusing on your money in the future. Oh, the magicians came out in every every sign too so far. Manifesting something and something moving quickly is the general energy that's coming in. Okay. I think the Knight of Cups might have came out in every one too. I'm not sure now. I think so. Oh, we have the Hangman. Pisces energy. Okay. And we have the star. Now the star was coming out the bottom deck. Now we have it here, right in the future here. Bottom deck we have here the Queen of Wands. <clears throat> so this could be your energy here. Aries Leo Sagittarius, the Queen of Wands. Okay. So I guess we need to put a charm on this queen. Someone might be really focused on their money. Ooh, we have the owl being wise investments, wise decisions. Something could be done at night too with the owl. Communication. Let me get a charm on this Queen of Wands. Oh, we have a heart here. So this could be um, something about your love for something or someone could have love for you. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be your energy, but it could be someone else's too. Okay, let me get the words. On this Queen of Pentacles we're getting here message closure very soon okay so you're going to receive some kind of message of closure very soon or let you close something out brings closer to closure to a situation that you probably manifested here after waiting on a, making a decision maybe let me see about this queen of wands Pleasure, family, unknown, thoughts. Okay, so there might be something coming in that's going to please you that you're not aware of. It might be something your family's doing or something that is unknown to someone that someone's thinking about bringing someone some, some kind of pleasure. Something's going to be pleasing to you, I guess, to do with the family. Okay, so past energy. Trying to make a decision here, two of wands at a crossroads. The Knight of Cups could be involved coming towards someone, wanting to make a move towards someone. Something about maybe justice, a legal situation, bringing something to light. There's a judgment being made. There actually could be something, someone come with information about a judgment being made from the past. Or this was done in the past, that someone made a judgment call in the past to make something right because it wasn't right now i'm going to go down this way too with the past we're going to look at it as the ace i'm mean ace of wands the two of wands the work situation and money someone had to make a decision about work maybe which road to take which job to take a situation there might have been two ways to go about something or two job offers or something that came in to do at work that was definitely involved with someone putting money into something or investing in something or the queen of pentacles could be actually deal with a queen of pentacles or it could be your energy be receiving some kind of message about something maybe closing or something ending as far as a work situation in order to maybe do something else now we'll go into the present a work situation someone being may be very guarded about something or someone saying hey listen i've been through a lot i'm not putting up on anybody's bull here but that also makes something move quicker or someone decides to move towards something or something comes towards you the six of swords is usually something moving away from a bad situation to something better so it feels like someone has said i've been through a lot i worked hard and now i'm going to do what's right for me now i'm going to look at the present this way so we have this Knight of Cups coming towards someone that might be guarded, but someone's trying to manifest something here. Someone's really looking at something closely, too, to try to figure something out. The Magician looks like it's really, it has all the tools they need, but they want to make sure they implement something that it will work in their favor. Now let's go to the future. 
we have this Queen of Pentacles with the Magician man trying to manifest something here. Um, they, but someone might be saying, okay, let me really look at this differently. Because I'm looking at this Magician with the really checking something out. And then you have, of course, the Hangman. That's not going to make a move until they really wait until the right timing. So it feels like someone is really putting a lot of time and effort into trying to figure something out. How is the best way to make a move? How do I... Um, how do I get what I want here? Because in the end, we do have someone's looking for their wish fulfillment, and it looks like it's going to happen. Hmm. So then we'll look at it this way: as there's some kind of court or some kind of judgment or Libra energy, a contract that um, is going to come in quickly here, and then someone's going to be waiting to make a decision here because they're looking it over again. A better perspective on something okay then let's take it this way so there is some kind of decision to be made that someone's being very guarded and not making a decision right someone really is thinking about something here because we have the hangman waiting for something here because of whatever happened in the past okay so let's look at this justice here because of something happened past so something to do with someone's money or offer or something coming in okay Let's start with this two of wands and try to clarify this a little more. Ooh, we got two. Oh, so we have the fire, which is expansion, and we have the wolf, which is instinct. So you might be, something's coming in here that you're very fired, or this was a past energy, very fired up about, but you might have used your instinct to make the decision here. You might have did something on your own. The wolf, it could be lone wolf, or it also could be that you had to lead the pack and you you were fired up about something. It's something that you're passionate about, but you had to use your instinct on this. Okay, so now let's look at this Knight of Cups. Again, it wants to come out too. There must be something about tools here. Okay, we have the, the pathway with this passage. And then we have pomegranate, prosperity. There's someone that wants to come towards you. Pomegranates are prosperity. So there's abundance, there's prosperity. Something is, but the, it might be connected to a pathway, a passage. A, you know, when I see this, I think of passage to like another dimension, another connection. Um, bridging a gap here going through something to the other side so I feel like there is prosperity in the past but it was connected to maybe your connection to the other side okay let's see about this justice oh we have the butterfly with the transformation Something in the past has transformed for you. There was a change. There's a change in either a contract, justice. I mean, because this could be a legal matter, just uh, with the, it could be actually a contract. This could be a marriage contract. There's some kind of change happened here or some, in the past. Justice. Okay, what about the judgment? Someone had to make a judgment call or something was trying to come back in. Because sometimes the judgment is something come returning. So let's see. If we want to pop, let's take it. Oh, so we have a chain. There's attachment. Now, the chain is only found in the devil card, the Capricorn energy. This could be someone feeling a judgment with a Capricorn being attached to a Capricorn. There's some kind of bond here. Someone feels connected to a bond that they have to make a judgment call on. Okay. Now, the A of Pentacles. <laughs> My voice is getting all weird. Okay. Feels like someone has something stuck. They need something. They need to s say something, but they're stuck on how to actually um, address something or what they need to say. They feel like, I feel like I can't get my words together. And that's the energy I'm feeling from someone. Okay, so A of Pentacles. Ooh, we said ice, stagnation. See, that makes sense. There's some kind of stagnant energy that maybe someone needs to break the ice. 
something's frozen, something's stuck, something's stagnant as far as work. As far as either working with someone in the present or actually your work situation. You might feel stuck, sort of frozen in something. Okay, and there's a garden energy here with the nine of wands. So let's look into that. Oh, so we have the dog. So this is loyalty. So someone is guarding something. Someone's very loyal to something. Someone wants to protect something here as far as work or working situation or working with someone. Okay, so now the chariot. Look how the dog's looking over it that way to the chariot. Like, okay, I'm ready to move. I think so. I think this almost feels like the energy of I'm getting ready to make a move. <clears throat> okay. The bench came up in every reading. So this is access. Someone getting access to something. To me, the bench is more like sitting and waiting and contemplating and thinking. I think when you see a bench, the bench is inviting you to sit. And it's like, I'm getting... <laughs> I'm getting the my guys are funny. Let's just sit a while and ponder. <laughs> ponder yonder. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That's just found it's weird because you have the access. Someone might be getting gain access. I don't understand the access on the bench here, but anyway, I'm getting here about contemplating, thinking, looking at something. And then we have the chariot. So maybe let's sit for a minute. And think about this and then make a move because we have to move fast because the chariot is fast moving okay what about the six of swords we have a bull so this is um someone very determined here um could be a Taurus, but this could also be just referring to the fact that someone is stubborn, determined, um, moving forward, pushing forward. Okay, someone might be coming towards you that way, being kind of, um, I don't know if I want to say pushy, but not pushy, but determined or persistent, I guess. Okay, so... The Queen of Pentacles, the future Queen of Pentacles. We have the flower, the bouquet. This is might be a gift coming in. This is, um, you know, there's some kind of possibilities of something happening here. Someone might be offering you something or giving you a gift or a nice surprise. Let's see about the magician. <clears throat> Maybe this message comes with a gift, but it's going to bring closure to a situation, a uh, a stalemate or maybe um it could also be closure to not knowing so maybe it's just information coming in let's see about this magician so we have armor protection okay so the magician here is trying to make something come together but doing it in a way that they feel protected that they they feel like this is the right way to do it okay and the hangman, Pisces energy here. We have the sun. So this is bringing clarity to something. This is vitality. This is, well, the sun would be action. If, you know, the hangman is in action. Is, but now there's clarity coming in to maybe make something work. Now, have the clarity to move ahead. Because the sun would definitely be action. Okay. The star. Hopes and wishes and dreams come true. Let's see. The mountains. Okay, there's something about someone reaching their goals, climbing the highest mountain, seeing, seeing the possibilities. I think... Um, removing their obstacles then we have oh look at this crown there's accomplishment coming in yeah there's going to be accomplishment this is probably your energy here being the queen of wands saying that you're accomplishing something it could have something to do with the family the thoughts the unknown something something's going to bring you pleasure or it brings the family pleasure of what you were able to accomplish because i think you are accomplishing something it feels like prosperity looks like it's all around this connection here this reading I don't know why I say connection. I wanted to say reading, but connection came out. Interesting. Yeah. 
to be Leo energy with the sun. There is something that you are achieving, some kind of goal here, because you, you it seems like it's been an obstacle. There's been mountains. There's been things that you had to go through. You had to wait for things to happen. You had to really think and go deep within to find your answers, I think. But you also had to protect yourself along the way. Okay, so let's see what signs we could be dealing with. Placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. Cancer. Aquarius. Libra. Taurus. Try to get this out. Gemini. Got all the air signs. And Aquarius again. Wow, strong Aquarius energy. So, and it's weird because I'm doing this on the full moon in, in Aquarius. And we got Aquarius with the star, Aquarius, Aquarius. So very strong Aquarius energy. Okay, so placement in your chart, placement in other people's chart, past, present, and future. We have Cancer, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, Gemini, and Aquarius. Now we'll do the letters. Do 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both first and last initials. And someone has a male name. You know that male name. You get that initial also. All the better. Past, present, and future. Also your old initials. We have T, R, G, P, P, E, P, O, L N C I feel like something did something come off here? Did I have another letter from somebody else? Oh, where did this come from? <laughs> okay, someone jumped ship. And oh, it came from here? I've got a blank over here. Alright, well I'll have to look for that. Now I dropped it somewhere. <laughs> okay, so the letters we have are T R G. P P E P O L N C. Okay, guys. So, um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. It's actually looking pretty good for you. I think you're accomplishing something here. It feels like it's been a while that you had a fight with something or try to make something happen, but it looks like things are things that were stagnant are now moving. So you're able to move ahead. I don't think you were able to before. It wasn't the right timing. So all in divine timing, right? All right, guys, but thank you so much for all your love and support. And if you need a personal reading done, I'd be honored to do it for you. The information is below. Just set, shoot me an email in the subject line. Um, put, just put personal reading. I'll send you over the information. You don't have to put anything else. And I'll send you over um, the information. If you care to have a reading done by me, you could save it for another time. You know, if you don't want to do a reading right away. But um, I'm getting pretty busy with those. They're like running two to three days out. Sometimes it might be a little longer when everybody seems to contact me at once for a reading. Then it might take a little longer. So I do it as first come, first served basis. All right, guys. But well, thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments, your donations, your super thanks. And also... Um, have me do your personal readings. I'm really honored. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.